Guys, good afternoon. We are back here live at Blackpool with EGL 13, brought to you by JD Sports. Guys, if you head on to www.jd.egl.tv, fill in our form, you could get a chance to win 12 pairs of trainers. That's one pair of trainers per month. Absolutely awesome. Guys, we are going to be joining the game very, very shortly. It's actually IGI versus London Conspiracy. And joining me for this is Calvin. Calvin. We've just been informed how first, how close the first map was. Oh uh, yeah, so uh, I believe IGI are one 0 down to the London Conspiracy by two points but on yeah, domination. Yeah, two points on domination. London Conspiracy got the domination point back at the last second, yeah. and that gave them enough points to win that game. So next map is going to be Sovereign on Search and Destroy, and we are just waiting for the players to load in now. I believe we have seven of the eight required players, and then as soon as it starts, we will get it on the way. E it, in the meantime, I'm um, sorry, Silver. No, 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 sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. What was going to go on is actually, if you look on your screen right now, Nitri Direct Blows is the maps that are going to be uh, being played. Obviously, Sovereign domi uh, on the uh, Search and Destroy, we've already played the Domination. Again, Warhol Blitz. That, for me, is a game-changing map. I know London Conspiracy are very strong on SND. Um, if they take this, obviously, they're going to go 2-0 up. I feel that IGI have that ability to take the blitz. The seeding-wise, London Conspiracy actually come in a seeding as 10th. Mm -hmm. um, and the guys from IGI come in a seeding as 14th. Now, IGI had 300 points and Conspiracy had 900. I mean, that's a not a massive amount, but it's enough now to push this. I mean, I know the guys from IGI, this is the strongest team they've had to date. Uh, both, both, their both their coach and manager, uh, Cookie, and uh, Rampage, they've really done well. Um, they've brought these up. And also with London Conspiracy, Robert behind them as well. They really have bring, brought their A game in this loser bracket. Yeah, so we're just, as we said before, just waiting for the game to start up soon. All players are in the lobby. They will be getting on the way shortly. But um, I'd say you know way more about these two teams than I do. Um, yeah. What would you be your prediction for Sovereign? I mean, I, I know a lot about these teams purely because of, of the amateur side of things. I, I like to keep myself out there watching. I watch nearly every game that I can possible because these guys are the ones that bring in some of the best games that you get to see you know they're that close I mean two points is the closest that we've had on domination here for me as I said London Conspiracy have an SND ability they're very strong and they have a great lineup uh, the lineup for these guys is Louis Mellon um, Colby and I believe it's Bun the Feds just to make sure I have no idea who that is Bun the Feds yeah it's a good name though it is it's, 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 I'll tell you what it's very imaginative <laughs> I like that. It's, you know, it's, it's one letter away. <laughs> but yeah, for me, SND, you know, you have to be careful with London Conspiracy. They like to play that game mode if that's their favourite. However, saying that, um, on Blitz, said um, is is a very strong entity. He can pick off a nice four piece. He's got no worries of slaying, and he will push. Um, that that will help these guys. Uh, you know, push through, maybe break two or three point on a Blitz, but. SND, I'm, ha I'm going to have to say, I have a funny feeling this one's going to go to London cons Conspiracy. I think we could see a possibility of five-map game. Obviously, the winner of that will go on and play TCM, who got knocked out by Exertus, um, and then that will give us our, one of our finalists for the Losers Bracket Final. Um, and the other one will be on uh, main stage shortly after this game, will in fact be Orbit versus Vitality. Um, who I, and I said it this morning, Vitality, if they get knocked down, they will come back strong, and they have done this morning. Yeah, I mean, Vitality are a team where um, they can make really, really long runs. And some of the players have just like switched between like teams. You had like Carnage, who had a stint on Millennium, and he's done. I've seen him do amazing loser bracket runs in that team as well. Yeah. Um, our S&D game has actually started now. It is just loading in. So we're just going to get our spectator gloves on and hopefully this should be on the way shortly yeah it should indeed guys please tweet us at EGL hashtag EGL13 who do you think is going to take this are we going to see the guys from IGI take their highest seeding yet are we going to see London Conspiracy bring that Illuminati love to EGL13 me personally what I'm going to look at there we're going to go on board with the attacking team as we go on board with who should we go with should we go with Amaze or Sed? Um, yeah, let's go with a maze to start off with. Remember, guys, we do have personal Twitter, so if you want to get at us, just do so. We can see stuff in real time, and we can get certain players up for you if you do shout us out. Or even tell the EGL guys on the main on the main Twitter, that is at EGL, 
and we'll just get some players up for you if you do suggest them. But right now, I'm going to start off with Amaze, as we said before, and he is just going to be running straight up into green. Yeah, let's have a look on board to see anybody's going to come into some action. As we do see Mover there, he's going to pick a kill on his right hand side. Surely not. He goes down. That's a quick two pick. As we see Bun, I'm just going to say Feds, but let's run on board with Amaze. He's currently rocking on his own on a 1v3. Is he going to get a pick here? No, he does get tagged up. Needs to be very careful. Let's pull back, gather up his place. He goes down. First round goes to the guys from London Conspiracy. Yeah, so 1-0. Final kill is going to be Mellon. Just take him down there. And now, as you said, 1 0 to the London Conspiracy. Mellon gets three kills that round. And Bunda Feds gets one. Dies in the process, though, but that doesn't matter. His team are 1 0 up. Going to move on to the attacking team. And yeah, let's stick with Mellon. You know, he went, he went 3 0 that game. So I'd like to see how he plays this. Yeah, I like the way that they're playing underground. If you look on your mini map, uh, they, they've made a push on the, the left and moving this underground. He's going to come into a player there on his right side. Shots fired. He's going to know where he is. He now needs to be careful. He's got to go for the reload. If he wants to pick the player up, he's going to not know he's there, he's, which means he's going to call that. Not going to drop down any other way than move forward and progress. So let's draw him on with Bum the Feds. He's literally holding that right hand side. So let's jump on board with Colby. Colby's cooking. Is anybody around there? Frozen aid. He's not going to get anything at all. For me right now, it's going to be a tense round. It's going to come down to the last 30 seconds because they just seem to be so composed on both teams. Yeah, first blood goes to Mover. Aegon gets the second kill. Colby and team are in trouble now. They are in a 2v4 situation. Colby just running on the ground through Snake. Doesn't see anyone. He's hoping to shoot someone in the back. Mover picks up Melon and now he is in a 1v4. If you remember, Amaze was the one that was left like that just around <coughs> earlier. Put some shots down, but that is going to leave him in no man's land now. Going to get swarmed by all the yeah. players. Aegon gets the final kill there, but there was no way he was going to win that gunfight. He had two swarming him, and there is your final kill count. That was a nice play there by IGI. They really did seem to control it. They, they managed to have uh, the, the full strength of that squad. You know, when you've got the four players, and you, maybe if you drop one or two, you, you, the, he the heads tend to drop. Held it together, great composure. Let's carry on with the player. Let's go on back with Ball with Aegon, currently three and one. Uh, and there's only, out of the eight players, only four of them have got kills right now. Yeah, I mean, well, it's early days. Two ra well, three, we're on round number three now. And still on with Aegon. He is just going to be supporting. It looks like Mover. First blood does go to Mover. Louis is going to be taken down from the London Conspiracy. And Aegon is looking to get that bomb plant. But as you can see in Oracle mode, there is someone that would, that could have possibly seen him. But that laptop was in the way. Feds does come in. Gets one. Bomb has been plotted. But that player does escape with his life for now. He does indeed. I believe it's a maze on the other side of that. As you have a look with the Oracle mode, you can't see anything. Zagon does go down, which means it's Mover and a maze in a two and three sit two on three situation. As we're still on board, a maze yet to get on the scoreboard. He's going to pick one up. That's a great pick, which means it's down to two versus two. Evening things up right there. As the maze is literally going to go up ladder, look into the map room, see if there's anybody around. Make sure no one's come around from the flames. One on the right hand side. He gets taken down. It's Melon that's going to push it. It's a one on one. He knows he's in there. He's got a defuse. He picks him off. Great play by Mover. He sees that through as IGI take that round 2-1. Great start from IGI. Really bringing it to London Conspiracy on their game type. Yeah, final kill cam. Got me Mover. Throws the Semtex trying to preempt that player, trying to get the bomb defused, but he does successfully shoot him. And it's going to be 2-1 to them. Mover on a five point streak. Yeah, again, we do currently see uh, if we move on board with Melon, uh, we can have a look at his. Score is 4 2 and 0. Oh. Feds is 2 and 3. 1 and 2 there for Colby. Uh, Louis sitting on that donut. No one likes to see a donut, you know, but as we said before, it's a bit of an early day. Let's see if he can pick anything up from this round. As we see, there's a player right in front of him on the right hand side. Does see him. He's going to take him up. That's a great clean up, but it doesn't matter because IGI IG, IG, IG said there manages to get a two piece of his own, which drops Feds and Colby. So it's down to Mellon and Louis with 3 on 2. Mover again, currently still on that five point streak. They've got to pick up this bomb. For me, the logical plan here, Calvin, is to go and uh, rotate around and try and take B. Yeah, but he's got two players to deal with here, so he's in a bit of a bad situation. He could have another A, but could be C or go B or B C because both players can cover both points. But oh, he's great hunted pick. down Mover. That was a smart play, but he does get tagged up by Amaze. Amaze and Mover staying in close proximity to each other. You can see Amaze. Try, uh, he would have called that out comes yeah. straight back into Amaze's viewpoint and he gets the kill easy work for him there 
It was indeed. It's, it's all about the communication, especially when you're playing a team that likes S and D. Your communication has to be on point. And you know, when you split up, you, you tend to lose that because you have to have that time where you got to come back, see where he's gone possibility of not being able to pick him up and they then take that round so let's run on board with Aegon he's currently the bomb carrier here for IGI who are 3-1 up currently one round down to London Conspiracy who took domination in the first half don't forget guys please <laughs> please remember to tweet this hashtag EGL13 who do you think's playing well who's going to be the top player here for me at the moment Mover and Melon both standout players for opposing teams I like the way that Mover set up let's have a look where he is at the moment he's currently 6-2 and two. very very strong player yeah, he's having a good start to his s and I was just hoping that he can like continue the momentum <laughs> as a, well, as we said, that just gets his face blown off Curse by of the uh, caster. there. And we're going to be on with Set and Set in between a rock and a hard place. 1v4 situation, Bomb is down, he needs to collect it. And he's, he's oh, he just runs straight into Louis. And Louis put <laughs> Louis put enough bullets into him to kill three people there. He did, yeah. This is going to be a kill cam. Look at this, one. Literally, yeah, I think I, only. I, I, I think he. I think. I think he's dead, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think. I think the first two got him, and just carried on spraying. Yeah, so it's gonna be three, two now. Half time, switching sides, and we're gonna get on with Louis. Yeah. They are three. They are three, two down right now yeah. to IGI, but they can bring it back and tie it up. Yeah, they, they just seem to have trouble trying to get the plant down. Every time they do it, IGI push and they push hard. If you're looking at the mini map on your left-hand side, there's literally three in that, in that vicinity. You've got two directly in B. One's on this, one's on literally on that step. You can see there's an early pick there by Maze who's going to take out Feds. And then they're going to push into B. Who is that that's sitting in there? It's actually Mover that's taking the kills. But look how well they've got this set out. We've got literally on that back A, you've got Sed. And we push forward. You can see a Maze now coming into there. They have this locked down. There's no way that these guys are going to get any further than mid-map. I mean, they, they've got a bigger problem than that. They've got someone. Oh, <laughs> Louis with the knife. A Maze gets taken down. So it's going to be a 3v3. And Louis is running in the direction of an enemy player. There was one performing the flank. That's why I thought the problem was. And it is going to be a problem yeah. because it's Aegon. And he gets rid of Louis. And that leaves Colby in a 1v3 situation after his teammate, I think it was Melon, got taken down as well. I Melon being the best player on the team right now and you're not going to be one in that situation you're stuck in servers whenever way you're going to come out someone's going to see you. they got the kill it's 4-2 IGI bringing a round back obviously take, if they take the next round they're going to be one away from leveling it up 1-0 for me they just seem quite a strong team if it's going to come down to blitz I have a funny feeling it's going to go 2-1 we will see a fourth map without a doubt yeah so there's the intermission 4-2 now in favour of IGI They'll be looking to just close this out. Here we are, one with Amaze. We've got a silencer on that MTR. Changes to the Vector. Thanks, Amaze. And going to be just cutting through the window. And you can see, it looks like they're going to commit to a B push. He's got his teammate just below him with the bomb. Bomb carrier going to be Aegon in this case. And he. Uh, the thing is, they've st they stacked up all around it. And I think what they worry about is running in there and just giving away unnecessary kills. I think maybe a, someone with a trophy system could bowl in there, put it down, and that will give them a little more confidence running around it. I think that's what they're afraid of, someone that could just nade the hell out of them. And that's why they're so hesitant. Melon gets first blood. I think you got it straight on the, the hit right on the head there, mate. It, it, it is that hesitancy, and the trophy system will reduce that. Yeah, I mean... It's, it's changed up. I mean, you should really encourage trying to use it, maybe. But Bomb has gone down successfully. Aegon and Sed now are in a 2v4 situation. Now, and they got a lot of defending to do. Colby goes down. Sed, your time to shine, buddy. <laughs> 1v4 and a Bomb to defend. Looking around, get shot in the side, unfortunately. And that's going to be an easy defuse for the London Conspiracy. And that's all she wrote. Melon going to get that defuse. Yeah, said yes, he did pull off a nice clutch. Unfortunately, not going to be able to do that today against these guys at London Conspiracy. As I said before, they do like their SND. Just at the moment, it's edging in favour of IGI. They seem to have that little bit more cohesion when it comes towards the attacking rounds. They've picked off the defensive play once from the guys from London Conspiracy. So we'll see if these guys can carry out... Can I will get my teeth in correctly now. <laughs> uh, we'll continue to carry on taking this to these from the boys of LC. And run on board with IGI. He's now going to try and push. See if anybody's moving up there. If you look on your mini map, you can see there's the Oracle mode. Oh there's God. a player to his left. Look, look how close this is. It's Nitri right there. He's going to pick him off. There's the first blood. There's one behind Ooh, him. You need to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Amaze is happy here, man. He says just get out of there with his life. <laughs> Nitri, it's that wall. It gets every player. It, it, uh, every, I think everyone can relate to that. You get, yeah. You're trying to escape and there's a wall. And you're like, 
Get out of the way. I just want to leave. It's not your fault. It's always the joypad as well. <laughs> uh, but, as we said, the lives to fight another day. Teammate takes down Melon. So Melon and Louis are eliminated from this round for now. Move are doing well. Eight and four. Melon's nine and five as well. Maze just sitting on that, that bomb site, hoping that someone will come there and look to plant the bomb. And what he doesn't who, who, know is no one, is has, no one has the bomb right now. Who? Like, like Colby does now. Yeah, who's that? Oh, great pick there by Amaze. Just run on board. This other ball, run on board with Colby. He manages to pick up the bomb. He's got a lot. Of, uh, he's got a lot of work to do. I uh, believe I he's been spotted. Saw him as well. Yeah, he's going to get taken down. Shot in, oh, <laughs> shot in yeah. the back. I think Mover wanted to do some some humiliation. It took him quite a while to shoot him. I think he was figuring out what to do. I mean, look at the scores. They really do reflect how well both teams are playing. Mover nine and four. Aegon four and five with two plants. Amaze five five. Three and five for Sed. Nine and five for Melon. The very th they do match each other up. It just shows you how close these two teams are in the level, in ability, and skill level. Yeah, it's if you just saying that you're right. Looking at the stats, I mean, all, all Bunderfeds has to do is just have one good round, get two kills. Yeah. And then probably Melon will clean up the, at least one, and Louis will clean up one. Yeah. As long as they just, it just looks like they just need to contribute a little bit further, which is what IGI are doing right now to complement Mover. And we are on with Aegon. He is the bomb carrier in this case, and they've all stacked on B. They're going to commit. Here comes the bomb, just moving himself into position. He knows Sed has gone down, but he has Mover in support. Oh. Mover doing that slaying job. Gets Melon can Mover get another one, another player coming in. Bunda Fez gets the shot. He, I think Bunda Fez is looking to challenge very soon. Yeah. Unle unless he's backed off. Yes, he has. And he's just going to re-evaluate this here. He's in a 3v2. And all he has to do is just get one. Oh, oh man. Yes, 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 and he gets that one. That's, well, that's fair enough. Louis does team kill the Feds. But they've got the round. 5-4. Yeah. It is indeed. That, to me, at the moment, on the way it's been going so far, next round should really fall in the favour of the guys from IGI, which, we've which would bring it back to 1-0. But, you know, you can never count out a team when it comes down to it. When your back's against the wall, that's when you get sometimes get the best games when they step everything up. For me, it's anybody's game. Yeah, we're going to see if uh, London Conspiracy can pull out a 5-5 situation here around 11. But if they do, they have a chance to go 2-0 up. So... On board with Melon, 10 and 6. Mover and Melon are just like killing in sync right now. Yeah. Oh, and there's Ooh. Aegon takes down Melon. That is a problem for the conspiracy. Bunda Feds does get a kill though. This is where the other three players just need to chip in and really try and get the kills of their yeah. own. I mean, we saw it yesterday, Marky B. He, two rounds he was lacklustre, didn't have anything, all of a sudden he stepped it up. This is what Louis and the boys need to do here. Mate. I mean, they're now down to, oh, they're down to a one-on-three situation. Is Colby oh. going to do anything? They're not going to do that. And as you said it, Calvin, that's all she wrote for SND. It's 6-4. IGI bringing that round back. We will have Blitz is our, our next map. And I'll tell you what, if anything's to go by, I think we're going to see some gun-ho ability in gaming skill. Guys, please do not go anywhere. We will be back after this short break. <laughs> 